Let's talk about one of the most classic, timeless iris fragrances on the market. What's going on guys? It's the Middle Eastern Fragrance King, aka Neeb with Aromatics. Today's not a Middle Eastern fragrance, but I thought, you know what? Let me take it back to some of the classics. Today's classic comes from the house of Prada, and it's called Prada Loam. So I figured, you know what? All these Middle Eastern fragrances are nice, fine and dandy, saving some money, all that good stuff, but most of them are talking about dupes. And if we're talking about dupes without talking about the original, then what's the point? So here is the original that has been duped. And if you're looking for a dupe for Prada Loam, then I'll link that somewhere up here, either this side or that side. And you can go ahead and find that a budget friendly version of this. It does get really close, but this is a beauty on its own. Now, although I cover a lot of Middle Eastern fragrances, I own a lot of designer fragrances. And in a lot of those videos, we do side by side comparisons. And I figured this is one that I actually got the dupe video done for. It doesn't quite get 100% to Prada Loam. It's still a good alternative, but this has a place in my heart on its own. Prada Loam is a nice, clean, fresh shower gel type of fragrance with that nice, smooth lipstick, almost like a makeup bag buttery iris. Now, at first, the sound of a makeup bag doesn't really sound too appealing or masculine, I understand. It kind of took a little bit of time for me to really understand these types of fragrances, and once I really got the hang of it, they became my all-time favorite. Some of my most favorite fragrances are actually those that utilize that lipsticky buttery iris. Now don't get a mistake and just because you see a note of iris in a certain fragrance doesn't necessarily always mean that it's going to be a makeup type of iris. There's plenty of different irises just like Florentine iris which I find to be a little bit more on the floral side rather than that buttery trait that I look for in an iris fragrance. This one has beautiful notes like Neroli, black pepper, cardamom, and carrot seed at the top. We have that buttery iris in the mid with some geranium and some other notes there. And then in that base, you see we have the cedar, sandalwood, and amber along with the patchouli. What this fragrance really does for me is just kind of give me a nice fresh shower gel type of vibe with a nice smoothness from the lipstick buttery iris along with that sandalwood. Sandalwood is known to be a woody fragrance note that also attributes to some of that creaminess you'll find in this fragrance. So the creaminess from the iris is nicely complemented with the sandalwood as well. This is a lot of neroli. So neroli, think of like almost a fresh orange type of scent that's complemented very well with some cardamom and black pepper. The pepper in this fragrance isn't too in your face. It's not something sharp. It's not going to induce any sneezing or anything like that. This is actually very smooth of a fragrance. This really smells like you're coming out of the shower and you smell a little fancy, timeless. This can be worn in any season. High heat summertime, I think, is a little bit where, you know, you'll start to question whether or not you should over apply or apply. But even for those seasons, there is the Prada Loam Low, which I find to be a little bit more suiting than this one. There were some other flankers to this fragrance, including Prada Loam Intense, where they added a leather facet. And these lines kind of compete with Dior Homme's, uh, you know, line of iris fragrances like Dior Homme, Dior Homme Parfum. So this would be like the Dior Homme where the Intense, which is, to my understanding, discontinued, would be the Dior Homme Parfum. This is less dense, it's more wearable, it's more versatile. So what you're really gonna get mostly with this fragrance is a nice dose of Neroli, cardamom, iris, sandalwood, cedar, and amber. That's essentially what I get with this fragrance. In the opening, it's heavy around the Neroli, some cardamom there, and definitely that iris. The iris lives throughout the entire fragrance. And then as it starts to dry down, it just gets creamier, smoother, warmer from the ambers. Overall, fantastic scent, timeless, very gentleman-like fragrance. Longevity and performance on this sucker is actually really, really good. I spray this about six to 10 times, yes. No sissy spraying over here. And it lasts me a good eight to 10 hours. On clothing, sometimes it pushes it to 12 hour mark. So this is no chump. And I think that if you're looking for a nice everyday signature scent worthy fragrance that you can wear for a lot of seasons, then you should definitely go with Prada Loam. That's pretty much all I have to say about Prada Loam. If you enjoyed watching this video and wanna watch much more content just like this, hit that subscribe button, click on those notification bells. We've got plenty of dupes and originals and niche fragrances and a lot of new releases to come to the channel very soon. I hope you enjoyed watching this video half as much as I did making it. And until next time, peace.